A sternal rub is a medical procedure used primarily to assess a patient's level of consciousness, particularly in situations where verbal communication is not possible. This procedure is widely used in emergency medicine, critical care, and other clinical settings where rapid assessment of a patient's neurological status is crucial. The process of performing a sternal rub is relatively straightforward, but requires proper technique to be both effective and safe, which is what we're going to discuss in this quick video. The sternum, commonly known as the breastbone, is a long, flat bone located in the center of the chest. It connects to the ribs via cartilage, forming the front part of the ribcage, and plays a vital role in protecting vital organs such as the heart and lungs. The sternal rub is performed by using the knuckles of a closed fist to firmly rub up and down the sternum. This action creates a significant amount of discomfort or pain, which in a conscious person would elicit a response. The primary objective of this procedure is to determine the level of consciousness based on the patient's reaction to the stimulus. When performing a sternal rub, healthcare professionals must be cautious and use appropriate force. Excessive force can cause injury to the sternum or underlying structures, while insufficient force might not elicit any response, leading to incorrect assessment of the patient's condition. The practitioner typically makes a fist and uses the knuckles of the second and third fingers to rub firmly against the sternum in a vertical motion. This method is generally preferred over other painful stimuli, such as pinching or applying pressure to the nail bed as it is less likely to cause injury and is easy to perform. The response to a sternal rub can vary. A fully conscious and alert person will usually react immediately to the discomfort, trying to push away the source of pain or verbalizing their discomfort. This indicates a high level of consciousness. A person who is disoriented or in a stupor may have a delayed or weak response, such as groaning or attempting to move away from the stimulus without fully waking up. In cases of severe unconsciousness, such as in a comatose state, there may be no response at all to the sternal rub. The sternal rub, while a useful tool in assessing consciousness, is not without controversy. Some argue that it can be inhumane or overly aggressive, particularly if not performed correctly. Therefore, it is essential for healthcare professionals to use this technique judiciously and consider alternative methods of assessing consciousness when appropriate. Additionally, the response to a sternal rub should always be interpreted within the broader context of the patient's overall medical condition and in conjunction with other diagnostic tools and observations. So, as you can see, the sternal rub is a valuable technique in the medical field for quickly assessing a patient's level of consciousness. It is particularly useful in emergency and critical care settings where rapid and accurate assessment of a patient's neurological status is essential. However, it must be performed with care and professionalism to avoid causing unnecessary discomfort or injury to the patient. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for information purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.